welcome back to another video here at Megan Moose Creations. So today I'm going to be making teeny tiny baby resin, UV resin snails um, inspired by fruit theme. As you can see in the background I've got a whole load of polymer clay cane slices and we are going to get making. First thing we're going to make is, I have a little body because I made him with some spare resin, but he doesn't have a shell. So I'm going to take my UV resin and I'm going to fill up this ball here. And then all I'm going to do is take with my needle tool, with the help of my needle tool I should say, I'm going to take some... Uh, strawberry cane slices I'm just gonna poke them in and push them against the side it takes quite a while You can add as many or as little as you want, that's the good thing about it. And then we're just going to have a look and see, can't really see through the camera where it's going, so I'm just going to pick it up and have a little look-see. Kind of working close to off camera right now, but it's just the way I've got my setup. But that is now done the way that I want it to be done. So I'm going to take my UV light and cure it for one minute. Okay, so I'm back. It's been my little ball has been cured. I demolded it just to be able to check that it was and it was a little bit sticky on the top so <clears throat> what's going on with my voice so I uh, just cut the edges off the excess and I'm gonna fill that little hole there with some UV resin and just hold it under there actually I could use this little little ball It's so fiddly making these. So I'm going to cure that again for another minute. Okay, so the UV light has finished now. It's a little bit sticky, but that's not a problem. Because all we're going to do now is take our snail body. I'm going to take a tiny blob of resin. We're going to stick the fruity ball on the top and we are going to put him back under our UV light just like so while that's curing let's get on and make our next um, snail so I'm just going to pop some resin into this cup and what colour should I do next? I'm going to do, we just done a red one so I'm going to do 
a blue one with these blue cane slices. So I'm going to take some resin dye, this is in forget me not blue, got to push down to open it and take a drop of that, oh two drops I decided on, I'll take my needle tool, actually I did have a stirrer somewhere. Okay, needle tool is. Also, can you believe this? I just bought these snail molds the other week, or the other day, even last week. And I've already lost one. How? How do you do that? I think I've been cursed. Is what I think. But I doubt that that is actually the truth. Okay, so I've mixed this, it's kind of hardening because I'm filming in the daylight. So all we're going to do is pour that into the whole mould. Just like so. Oh, we had a bit of a spillage. Quite a lot in here, so I'm going to scrape some out because we want the snails to have a flat bottom so that they can um, stand correctly. And then, with that, all I'm going to do is wipe up any excess and spills. My desk is just destroyed at this point. And then all that I'm going to do is take my lighter and fire away the bubbles. Okay, so now my snail, I've poked and prodded at the little antenna. Oh no. Oh, that didn't help. This is a disaster video. I'm really nervous, you see, we're going camping and I'm a bit scared. extra drop in there and then I'm gonna put it under the light and also I'm annoyed that I've lost my other snail but in all fairness I think it's just around somewhere because I have uh... since coming back from my holiday I haven't really unpacked like I only got back last week and so I am um, everything's just a bit of a mess and a bit of a disaster so it's like got to be here somewhere but I just can't find it and it's making me really, really annoyed. I mean, I checked through my bin, it's not there. Ugh, I don't know where it's gone. So while we're waiting for that, we might as well get on and make the little ball. So I'm just cleaning the top, gonna take some UV resin and pop that into the ball, gonna keep on curing this snail body and then all I'm gonna do is take the cane slices and the same as we did with the strawberries. I'm just going to poke them into place with my needle tool. It does look a bit weird. just gonna have to do it off camera because I can't really see what I'm doing it's the only thing I 
I just have to bring it up to my eye level because I can't really do it through the camera so I do apologise but the gist of it is that I just poke them and move them into place and I think I've filled all the gaps now maybe I'll just put that extra one in there right on there your allergy season sucks and I am gonna cure this now under my UV light for a couple of minutes and then I'll be back okay so let's unmold our little snail body so it's nice and hard in there and here he is so he is a little bit sticky on just the top so I'm gonna pop him back under the UV light and I'm going to cure the ball again for another minute and while we're at it we're going to create another um, resin snail so I'm going to create and get myself a new cup actually yeah I'm going to have to do it in cups right now get myself a new cup gonna get myself some resin pop it in the cup that should be enough and this time I'm gonna do an orange one I'm gonna use these um, that's lemon I had orange but I wanted mango coloured dye uh, with these orange flakes here so I've not used this one yet so I need to find a puncher they're just these little caps with a spike in and then you just punch down into your resin like so and when you pull it up it should squirt out a bit like that and you know that you've done it and then I'm going to take a drip of that, oh two drips, that will do, and I'm going to take my good old needle tool and give that a whirl around. And then we're gonna take our little snail body, we're gonna do the little pori pour. Come on, come on. Pour it in and fill up all of those gaps. And then, oh, one last drip. We're going to make sure that his little bum is all filled and we're going to poke down to the antenna to get all of the air bubbles out and make sure that he has proper antenna and then to get rid of those nasty air bubbles we're just going to take our lighter mine is a bit broken it takes more than one go to get it going just pop those big bubbles and then we're gonna pop that under the UV light. So let's backtrack. This is our adorable little strawberry snail. I'll put him over here and pop him with our little grapefruit snail. And over here, I actually also have a little grape snail. He's super cute. I'll leave those three down there. So now I'm ready to demold the little blue ball. So here he is. He's got some little straggly bits. So all we're going to do is take our knife. It is actually a little bit sticky. So all I'm going to do is hold him under the UV light for a minute. And then we can get back on track 
filling him up and popping him onto our little snack. We're all good, we're just going to fill in our little ball um, with a little bit of resin and pop that under the UV light. And now we can take our little ball mould and we will go in to make a snail with these. I think they're like passion fruit or something. But I, all I know is that I'm going to fill my little ball up with UV resin. I'm going to get my pokey needle tool once I've cleaned it, that is. And oh, which side is it? It's this side. Poke in my little passion fruit pieces. Just picking it up so that it's eye level again so I can see everything that I'm doing, making sure those pieces are in the correct spots. And I think that that will do. And now I'm going to pop it under the UV light and let them cure for a little while longer. But with this ball, ah, my needle tool, I am going to take some UV resin. Attach my ball to my snail and pop him under the UV light so he cures. So my little snail is now all hard so we're going to demold him, he's this beautiful orangey yellow colour, he's still a bit sticky like the other one so I'm just going to pop him back under the UV light for a second. And let's check on our, oh he wasn't quite under the UV light properly so let me pop him back under and then we'll be able to demold him in a minute. Here's our little blue snail. He looks super cute. Oh, so adorable. And I'm gonna pop him with the other snails. Just down here. So cute. So I think our ball should be ready. So here it is, it looks super cute, oh no it dropped it, he's a little bit sticky on the top so I'm just going to hold him under the UV light. Keep looking for my snail, I'll find him, going to have to like tidy this room. gets quite hot in your hands so be careful but I have this guy is now all done so I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to cut those nasty edges around the sides and then I'm going to take some UV resin gonna fill in that hole at the top 
and I'm going to hold it back under the UV light so that it hardens, not rolls, hardens. Okay, so I'm going to take my little snail body and chop off some of this little rough edge excess. It'll be alright. There we go. Okay, so our little ball is ready, so I'm going to take a little bit of UV resin. Oh, that's quite a lot. I might have to uh, scrape some off. And then we're going to attach our little resin shell and pop him under the UV light. <coughs> Okay, so here are the snails we have made. We made these two from scratch and we finished off this little strawberry one. They are super cute. They go really well with my little grape snail and my little grapefruit snail. I'm gonna make a bunch more of these to put on my Etsy. But for now, I'm going to say a very big thank you for watching this video, especially if you've got all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it or found it helpful um, or anything like that. Please chat with us in the comment section below. Let us know how you found it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.